Hey folks, we're back here. Kyle's beer review. Well, the fourth or fifth review of the night. These light beers, I'm not killing me. I got some big boys in there I want to try to get to. Uh, trying to shake it off. Watch Strap play in an hour. Red's getting smacked around. They're surprised. Here's another Red's Brewing Company. Red's Brewing Company. This is the Blueberry Ale. Red's Brewing Company Blueberry Ale. Uh, we did the Red's Wicked earlier. This was in the fridge. Uh, ale with this says ale with natural flavors and caramel color. Yeah, not sure about that. Red's Brewing Company Fiber. This is actually really good. Uh, if you're a blueberry fan, uh, we've had so many blueberry beers. I think I've done three or three or four. The blueberry maple I had the lost things, which is going out. Now those beers, at least with the new Highland, because it costs more real blueberry. I think the lost the uh, other one with the uh, socket tuck was kind of artificial. This is artificial blueberry, but it is blueberry flavoring. Uh, I got the Uinta glass again. No glass work from Reds. Uh, we'll get a pour on this. This is really good if you like blueberry beers. It is a twist off, I believe. If I can get that, yeah, it is twist off there. It's our uh, red zappo bottle cap there. The and like the red doesn't drop with the coloring. That's pretty neat. Unique logo there. So let's get a pour on this. Uh, Five percent by volume, uh, same as the rest of the red series. Yeah, I like the red series. Uh, this is good. I think said, and I get it. You know, everybody loves apple. And everybody loves blueberry, peach, raspberry, strawberry. <laughs> They've got a mango when I heard uh, the green apple. Uh, there's just so many different fruits flavors and that's that's what's cool about crap beers i think there's enough time i was talking to uh, my uh, my good buddy brandon's girlfriend today a great woman saying how crap beers want you to just fizzle out and die because you're going to do so much with so many fruits and they're right you know you, you've got 10 to 12 different fruits and watermelon red says nothing on watermelon yet which i'm shocked they have not and they probably will or probably is out there with some seen it but uh this is the blueberry uh, and I think it's it's really good. I mean, it's artificial flavor, but it's refreshing. Summer day, five percent of volume. You're just gonna try and get the pour here, and uh, track this off the bucket list. Got got that Avery in there that I'm really looking to try. I'm gonna get a new head on this. I mean, it really. I mean, there's maybe maybe a, a lot of carbonation. I have a bottle of that white bottle. A lot of carbonation with these boys, but no head. I mean, I just you see the carbs there. Definitely some fizzing. On that one, but uh, let that sit for a second. But uh, yeah, Reds has done a good job. I mean, I know two or three years ago they came in with just Red Zapple. That sold. I mean, I, when I first started Red Zapple, I said I'm hooked, and I continue to drink Red Zapple, you know, constantly. Uh, tasty beverage, but now the different variants. I don't know what my favorite. I think the peach. You know, I like it all. I'm none of them are bad. Uh, I like some better than others. Uh, I don't know, Chris. I mean, I. I think the apple and the peach are probably my two favorite, but again, not a, I like all of them. I mean, this is good. The raspberry is nice. You know, I think the uh, strawberry is good. The green apple is really good. I and mean, they're all decent. So that's the short story here. Again, let's get an aroma on this. Uh, yeah, you get, the, you get the blueberry, but you can tell it's artificial blueberry. It's artificial blueberry preserved with this. Uh, yeah, this is just... Uh, yeah, blueberry preserve here. So let's go ahead and get a swig on this. So cheers, five percent eighty five volume. That's yeah, good. I'm really good. Uh I'm gonna give this a B. I think this yeah, B minus perhaps, but yeah, good raspberry, a good blueberry flavor. Blueberry. It really comes in outside here. This blueberry comes in really nicely. Well, again, it is what it is. It's a blueberry ale with mild flavoring. Uh, it is what it is. I mean, it's nothing special. I mean, I would not. You know, if you're a craft beer guru that refuses to drink anything else and have, you're not open to anything else, then yeah, it's what be for you. If you don't like blueberry, it's not for you. But as me being an open minded person, I want to try anything I can, I would recommend this. Uh, again, 90% of people who like craft beer would say I'm nuts. I mean, maybe I am. But I'm just a normal guy on a Friday night with a dead cat in my front yard. I'm watching Wanted to watch my hero play baseball. Boy, what a, what a sad life I've got. <laughs> no wife, no kids. <laughs> Drink crap beer on Friday night. And maybe, maybe hope somebody watches these videos, which they probably will not. But uh, yeah, what can you do? Dead cat in the yard. You're gonna watch some Halo's baseball. But uh, there you go. I give it a B minus. I mean, 82, 80. I give it 84 out of 100. It's a B. It's a, it's good. It's a good blueberry flavor. You know, and that's the one thing I'm always, I've always respected about this Red's Brewing Company. And they do have a date on here, uh, August 14, 17. It's very, yeah, I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. 
I'd say no. August 14, 17. So it is stamped. That's the first date. So we had a month from today. So that's cool. Uh, that's one thing I've always respected about this Red Spring Company is that their beers have tasted like what they have said they have. Now, one could say, well, <laughs> it's hard enough to mess up an artificial apple or, or blueberry or whatever it may be. But, you know, it's still nice to drink what you, to, to, when you taste them. It is what it is. So many craft brewers have said, oh, this is this brew with this, and I can't get it. But with this, I get it. That's a B-minus beer. Uh, we'll see you here in a few uh, with uh, whatever's in the fridge. Uh, again, cheers, folks. And, uh, again, love your pets, man. I got a dead one out there. I was hysterical earlier. Love your pets. Cherish them because they're going to be gone tomorrow. Uh, see you, folks. Bye.